Weather Authority Local Forecast. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you and yours are having a safe week thus far. I say that because the excessive heat. Don't want to take chances. Be indoors as much as you can. Stay hydrated as much as you can. You know, keep the kids and the pets, you know, well hydrated and cool as much as possible as well. And the last tip, obviously, if you have to do anything outside, if you can help it, try to do it early or late in the day. Avoid that midday stuff. Save yourself from being in danger. All right, here's what we're looking at with your RV World Yuma Sky Cam. We got the bright lights of the city of Yuma with a trickle of traffic. Here's what else we got in regards to the heat alert. And this, as we mentioned earlier, is covering tons of territory. I mean, we're talking half of Arizona, pretty much most of California, even on into the Intermountain West as well. And there's even advisories on top of that also. So lots of folks getting affected with the excessive heat and then some. Temperatures? Proof in the pudding. I mean, this time of night, temperatures shouldn't be this high, yet they are. Some of us still uh, borderline triple-digit temperatures at this particular time in the Imperial Valley. On the Yuma side of the desert southwest, we're seeing similar numbers. Uh, Dateland actually now getting down into the high-end 90s, so at least we're down to double digits, but still very, very high here, and we're past the 10 o'clock hour. Now today, well, we did in Yuma not quite get to a record. We got 116 degrees, just a couple degrees below. In El Centro, we didn't quite reach the record either, but Imperial, actually, we broke a record today. So some cases, some folks did break some records, but uh, Yuma and El Centro did not today. Now here's what we're looking at tonight. We got that high pressure ridge pretty much planted in the interior west. And it's not really going to move all that much, but it is going to continue to bring in that dry airflow. As Jenny mentioned earlier, wind's an issue, the dry air an issue as well. So this is not very good if you're a firefighter and you're having to deal with conditions like this. Unfortunately, that's what it's going to be, at least for the rest of this week intermittently. And of course, there's that ridge right there continuing to stay parked over in the four corners, not going to budge all that much through the duration of the week. In some cases, it'll make enough of a movement to where we may lower a little bit in temperature in some respects, but then in other respects, it'll make a comeback and heat up even more. So we are expecting record breaking heat, at least to some degree in some areas of the desert southwest. Again, as I mentioned, we already got a little bit of that today. Your Metrocast 91 degrees by 8 a.m. And then by the time we get on into the mid afternoon, we're talking close to and of course, those temperatures are going to stay pretty uppity as we get on into the evening time as well. And for your Yuma International Airport Extended Forecast, it is definitely a read em and weep kind of forecast in the sense that the heat is just so high. It's just so drastic. Again, this is, I mean, this is a cause for concern if you're outside for any duration of time. So again, as I mentioned in the beginning of the forecast, don't take your chances with yourself or your family. Stay indoors as much as possible. Stay as hydrated as much as possible. And again, we could be having record breaking temperatures for Thursday and Friday. Imperial Valley, we can get up as high as 120 degrees. Yikes.